In this video, we will solve the bugged room from TryHackMe and learn to exploit MQTT and perform remote code execution through it. Bugged room is about hacking IoT devices and exploiting MQTT protocol to extract sensitive information. The room has a very short description. John was working on his smart home appliances when he noticed weird traffic going across the network. Can you help him figure out what these weird network communications are? Let us start our target machine. We will start, as in any other case, by scanning the target IP. I explicitly scanned all the ports of the machine by specifying dash "-p-" dash tag. From the scan, we can see that there is a port open that uses TCP, and the service running behind it is MQTT. Let us do Vuln scan and see if we can get more information. We specified SV flag to know about services and versions, and we used SC flag to run the default script scan. T4 will speed up our scan a bit. We can see a lot of topics that we can subscribe to and get more information. MQTT stands for MQ Telemetry Transport. It is a published subscribe, extremely simple, and lightweight messaging protocol designed for constrained devices and low bandwidth, high latency, or unreliable networks. With that info, the next step is to attempt some communication with the device itself. We can do so by using the Mosquito MQ2T client. We can install Mosquito by simple command as shown. Now to connect to the Mosquito broker, we can use the Mosquito underscore sub and use dash T flag to specify the topic. Here, we want information about all topics. So, we use the wildcard hash for this operation. We can specify the target IP address with dash H flag. Dash V has been used for verbose output. We start receiving all the data from the device until we receive a weird string. This looks like base64 encoded. We can go to Cyberchef and try to decode it. After decoding, we can see there are some registered commands along with two different topics. MQTT works on publish subscribe model. We can publish to a topic and the MQTT broker broadcasts this message to the devices that are subscribed to it. Now, let us try publishing to the two topic one by one. We can open a listener by using the same mosquito subscriber command. Open another tab and use the mosquito publisher to send a hello message to the first topic. Observe the response received in the first window. We can see that we have received hello as it is, which is not very interesting or useful. We can try encoding the message with base64 and observe the response. So, use Cyberchef to encode it. Now publish the message again to the first topic. However, we get the same results. Now, let us try the second topic we saw earlier. Try publishing the hello message to the topic. And this time, we have got some base64 encoded response. Try decoding it with Cyberchef. We get some type of error message, which reveals the actual format for sending messages. Now this is an interesting information, we have discovered what is the proper format for the message that we want to transmit. Let us try the ls command to list down all files in the current directory. Format the command according to the revealed format. Use the id that we found in the original encoded message and base64 encode the whole thing. Then we simply send that using the Mosquito Publisher 
and wait for a reply in the subscriber window. We receive another response which is base64 encoded. We can see in the decoded reply that there is a file called flag.txt inside the root folder on the device, so we know which command we have to craft next. Now we can format our command to read this file. We send the command using the publisher and wait for the response from the subscriber as we have done in the past. Now decode the receive message. And just like that, we should be able to retrieve the flag. Hopefully, you have at this point realized how simple it can be to hack an IoT device and how we can manipulate the MQTT protocol to retrieve sensitive information. I hope you liked the video and see you in the next video.